Another Day Has Begun and Jeremy Denman, an American musician who arrived in Vietnam a week ago, is excited for tonight. He will perform at the Phu Nhung Intersection, one of the busiest traffic hubs in Ho Chi Minh City, the biggest city in Vietnam with a population of 10 million people. Jeremy began playing music at a young age. He started with piano and then moved on to saxophone and clarinet. In 1998, he relocated to New York City from the nearby state of Delaware to become a professional musician. Along the way, he picked up a bachelor's degree in British and American literature from New York University. In 2009, Jeremy founded his own organization, Parade of One, and has traveled to and given street performances in Rwanda, Cambodia, and now Vietnam, countries which, according to him, have suffered the most from the pain of genocide and war. Last week, Jeremy played music for visually impaired and disabled kids in Vung Tau and children imparted by Agent Orange in Gucci. He also participated in a charity event at the city's University of Industry called Dreams of a Christmas Night. The event raised $2,000 in support of orphans around the city. Each of Jeremy's performances is unlike any of his previous ones. Tonight, he will perform in an area that he has never been to before. There will be no fixed audience for his show. Passers-by will be the only potential fans of his music. Will he be able to catch their attention? Will they like his music or will they find him strange? Jeremy needs to wait until this evening to discover the answer. At 4.40 p.m., Jeremy arrives at the site and is welcomed by a sudden rain shower. This is not a good start since his saxophone does not function well in wet weather. However, the storm quickly passes, allowing him to take out his instrument and get ready for the performance. To kick things off, Jeremy plays a few Christmas carols. <laughs> Every time the traffic light turns red, Jeremy steps into the street and walks between drivers and vehicles. Although it is rush hour, People driving motorbikes and sitting in buses look curiously at the young foreigner who seems to be absorbed by his music while remaining aware of the traffic. I passed by and saw him and so I stopped to see what was going on. It's quite strange. I don't know why he plays on the street and sometimes walks among people like that. I want to ask where he's from and why he's playing on the street. It's like something very moving. I watched a live band in front of the Hanoi Opera House before, but this is the first time I have seen a street performer on a Saigon street. As night approaches, streets leading to the Fuyong intersection are lit with colorful lights and sideboard. People come and go at the traffic light, and Jeremy keeps playing. He doesn't take tips, he only expects people to appreciate his sad tunes. In one of the noisiest cities in Vietnam, Jeremy plays music to bring a little joy to passers-by, and he can do it all night long. <laughs> 